Hello, in this video we're going to look at using SPSS to do a generalised linear model. In particular, we're going to look at the part of the generalised linear model that you would use when your dependent variable, which we will refer to as our response variable in this context, is can be assumed to be normally distributed. This is called the general linear model, or GLM for short. We're going to go through the instructions that are in Chapter 12 of the textbook and also on the separate help sheet titled General Linear Model. We're going to be using the example data from Chapter 12 and here's a copy of that data. You can make this file yourself and there is separate help on entering data into SPSS or you can download a copy of this data file from the online resource centre. Let's have a look at this data file brief, briefly for a moment. In data view, we can see we have our uh, dependent variable, our response variable called shoot weight here. Then we have three independent variables or explanatory variables as they're more often called in this context, regime, sex and cut diameter. If you'd like to know more about this data set, you read about it in chapter 12. The word equation for our analysis is shoot weight equals regime plus sex plus cut diameter where regime and sex are categorical and cut diameter is continuous. OK, so we're ready to go and do the analysis now. So go to Analyze, General Linear Model, Univariate, that means we've only got one response variable. We click that, that brings up this dialog box here. The shoot weight goes in the dependent variable, the categorical explanatory variables goes in the fixed factors and the cat diameter which is continuous goes in the covariates box. We're not doing a mixed model, um, if we were doing a mixed model we need to, with a random, random categorical variables then we would need to use the random factors box but we're not covering that here first thing to do is to click the model button and customize. We want to send all three variables over but first of all you need to under type, under build terms type, ch um, choose main effects. We're going to do a model first of all that doesn't assume, which is without any interaction terms. So we'll send all three over, highlight them all, press the little arrow just check that you've got the type 3 sums of squares selected. Press continue. Then we can go back to this dialog box and we press OK and in the output you get your basic uh, model output with your uh, individual variables shown, explanatory variables shown here, your error here and your full model at the top. Uh, your R squared and adjusted R squared at the bottom here. So for more information and detail on interpreting that output, see the chapter or the help sheet. To check assumptions, what you'll need to do is you'll need to create a couple more variables when you do your analysis. So return to your data, go to Analyze, same choices, General Linear Model Univariate, and this time click Save. And what you want to be able to check your assumptions is choose the unstandardized predicted values and unstandardized residuals, click continue, click OK and this time you get exactly the same output you'll notice but if you then go to uh, back to the data you'll see that you actually have a couple more variables in there, we make this a bit bigger, you've actually added some variables here so this is the predicted value based on the model, substituting these values into the model will predict this value and the difference between um, this value, the predicted value, and the actual value, the observed value, is the residual here. And these you can use to um, con conduct, uh, test the assumptions of a general linear model. To check for normality of the residuals, you do a histogram of the residuals. To check for normality of variance, you plot uh, residuals against the fitted values, the predicted values, you and uh, in a scatter plot. To check for linearity, you do the same, but you are actually um, looking for the the shape rather of the overall shape that checking it's linear rather than to check there's not a, a change in variability. There's more detail of all of this in the in the textbook. Um, that and so that's that, but that's the basics. 
OK, so that's looked at checking assumptions. But something else it's worth knowing how to do when you do a general linear model in SPSS is to how to produce the parameter estimates, because they're not produced by default. These are the what will actually tell you what the model, the, esti the parameter estimates are, the values that go in your model, and they can tell you what the model are. So they answer the question, what is the model? So if you go to Analyze, General Linear Model, to bring up that dialog box again, this time click Options. And what you want under Display, click Parameter Estimates. I've got a few other useful things there you might want to explore another time. But the most important is being able to turn on the parameter estimates. So continue. This time when you press OK, what you get is the same output, but you also get um, your parameter estimates here. So these are the, the values for regime, these are the values for sex, and this is the value for the continuous variable. And more on that in the help sheet and in the book in, the, in chapter 12. OK, so something else you need to know how to do is to build in an interaction term. If you've decided that's important a priori, or actually to, uh, if your model isn't um, to conform into the assumption of linearity, you might check for uh, interaction terms that will fix that. So general linear model, univariate, now this little box is getting familiar to us. This time what we want to um, do is go back to the model, We've, that's the one we did first time, and we actually want to then build in, instead of a main effect, let's build in, um, not all two-way, let's just build in one two-way, let's interaction at the top there right and we go regime and sex we'll choose so this will be regime and sex as our interaction term so now our word model is shoot weight equals regime plus sex plus diameter plus the interaction term rate uh, regime by di by sex okay so now we can press continue and this time and OK, and this time the output will include the interaction term here. So as it's not significant, we don't need to include it. One final thing that you should be able to do in SPSS with GLM as a basic, if you go to Analyze, General Linear Model Univariate, let's do some profile plots so if you go to the plots button on this uh, you can click regime to horizontal six separate lines add that to your list of plots you can do more than one but we're just focusing on getting used to this so there we go this time your output will produce uh, these profile plots uh, which you can see uh, shows you uh, the, the values of the variables shows you the estimated value for shoot weight uh, based on the two variables hydrological regime and sex. If we just interestingly just do that without the uh, interaction factor you'll see the difference. If we didn't have an interaction factor in our model, so let's take that out and just do plots, we can still keep the plots in but we won't have um, it with interaction. Should do it. No, it can't. So um, actually, we should just. So we don't need an interaction term. Hang on. Let's just do that. And six. Okay. Continue. Oh, I didn't add it. So it's a little add it now. Okay, that and it should work. Okay, that's it. And you can see here, um, if we go down, we should have a plot coming. Yes, you can see that plot, there is no interaction, and this plot interaction is allowed. So you can contrast those two. And that's the profile plot. So I think that's everything sort of basic to do with conducting a GLM using SPSS.